everybody. I discovered a way to use some fabric scraps to make some flowers and I was really excited about this because when I do journals I always you know how when you cover your journal y'all with fabric you always have like these little corners because that's you cut your corners in order to fold them on the corners of your book so you're left with like all these pieces and you know that's that's a nice piece of fabric <laughs> and I couldn't throw it away but I uh I put every, I put all of my little scraps in a little bag, just like this. And I thought the other day, I thought, you know, I really need to find some sort of use for those really pretty fabric scraps. And I, um, I thought, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not really crafty enough to uh, sew anything together and make anything out of it. But then I thought, you know, they may make a really nice backing for the envelope flowers that I do. And I thought, well, you know, okay, let's try it. And it turned out so well that I thought I would share it with you. It's kind of a, a fun little thing to do. This is a, an easy project. This is one of those things you could take to the sofa and, you know, be, uh, be bundled under a nice blanket and put together some of these fabric flowers. First thing that you're gonna need to do is get some pretty heavy weight uh, cardstock and I'm not sure y'all I'm not very good with weights I don't know what weight cardstock this is but it is pretty heavy I, I just think if you try to use anything super thin um, that it might not work as well but I don't know because I didn't try anything super thin you may you may find that you have really good results so we're just going to make a simple um, paper flower and you can see that it is you know, it's, it's, um, it's a task just to fold it. And then fold this over here. First time I ever saw um, anybody make paper flowers, it was Jenny Belly. And she makes these things called funky flowers. Oh my goodness. I got really addicted to funky flowers. They're so cute. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we've, we've folded our flower template, and then we're just gonna cut out a big flower. And then we've got our flower template here. Now what I did, and you can do this any way you want, it's, it's so simple, I'm sure you'll, you'll adapt it to, to you know, your own way of doing it. Then I, um, I took my fabric scraps and I started, I did cut them because I felt like they were, might be a wee too big. So I would cut them like this. And then I just Mod Podge them onto this template. And I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to how I was doing it or where they overlapped or anything like that. I just kind of had fun with it. Dug out the Mod Podge and just Mod Podge the, the little triangles onto the template. And when I got finished doing that, I had something that looked like this. Um, now here's the, here's the template. I realized after I got finished with it um, that I had too much blue showing through. I went back and um, got my little handy dandy little pot of dried up gesso, which I don't, I like dried up gesso, works great for me. <laughs> and um, just kind of went and just kind of whited over some of the parts that, that um, were a little too blue. All right, and then I just cut around here. Like I said, I mean, you could you could do this with stars. I think that it would be pretty, but it was just a way to use fabric scraps. And you don't even have to use fabric scraps. You can use paper scraps or tissue paper, you know, what, whatever you want. I also, with my fabric scraps, I would use the right side of the fabric as well as the wrong side of the fabric. Um, that way, I, I, you know, it's getting a little bit, a little more depth to, uh, to my little random flower here. So 
So I'm going to cut these off. You could experiment with different shapes. This is about the only shape I know. I know this one and I know like that, the one where you do the heart shape, but this stuff is really hard to, to cut through, but it turned out really sweet. I liked it. I like having a use for scraps. Scraps are hard to get rid of. Here we go. We're almost done. I've got one more over here. And there we go. You can see what that looks like. Now, it looks like kind of a mess to me right there, but <laughs> when you get your your envelope flower on there, it kind of looks cool. All right, so I, uh, I, this one I used a regular like envelope flower with some um, desk paper, some paper that I had done a little bit of text stamping on inside of an envelope. So that's the way that one turned out. I uh, kind of got in my stash and found a few things that Miss Judy had given me, and I thought, well, that, you know, the, the colors kind of went together. And so I decided that I would use that. I am not, um, I'm not taking the glue all the way to the edge of this because I do want it to have, you know, a little bit of um, a 3D kind of effect. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? That looks like corrugated cardboard. Oh, that one's really super cool. And you know, flowers in winter, I mean, let's, let's face it, y'all. I know winter has just started, so I don't need to yammer on about it, but I like to see, I like to make flowers in the winter time, and I love to see flowers in the summertime. There we go. It's a very, very simple thing, y'all, but I thought I would share that with you today because it's kind of fun and super cool, and they did turn out quite nicely, and I can see them, you know, as embellishments on on books, or, you know, you could probably even put a magnet on the back of here and uh, hang it on your fridge or on your inspiration board or something like that. Thanks for joining me, y'all, and I hope you, I hope you like these little very simple fabric flowers. Thanks, y'all. Talk to you soon. Bye.